Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly, through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the Thanes, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tefta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda, take Edkin Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together, we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village. Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guards. <laughs> Get to the village and wait for my signal. If they see me, this will get messy. Let's smoke the rat out of his guard's house. Alfred! Face me! 
and I will spare the last of Wessex my torch! Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Wareham? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone, and this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side, all those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I wouldn't leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder, do your worst. Picked up our trail. Hold on. I have no fear of death, for this battle is only the beginning. Only darkness will come to claim you.
You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. No. I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That I cannot allow. <laughs> Our trail. Hold on. I need you fighting with the rest! These men will not surrender! And one little cock flog have barricaded himself behind that door there! I will find a way in!
need to see if Broder has taken. Up our trail. Hold on. Did you see Alfred? The Saxon boys were ambushed. One day's wounded. Hold these men back. Hold these men back. I'll find them. Go away. They will not to us. Unwald! Come, get up! This is no time for weep wailing. I. There's a blackness closing in around my eyes. It frightens me. Forgive me, Humboldt. I need to see if Broder. <coughs> Hunwald, listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestun. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. As winter comes so soon. You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Ava. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast. Sob bright words of welcome and... Until you no man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor. My truest. <laughs> Picked up our trail. Hold on. Find a way to open the gate from the inside! Of them. Make sure the garrison stays under our control. I need to help the others. Pick 
have our trail. Hold on. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Picked up our trail. Hold on. They are routed! The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Good from Jarl. We are not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled! His paths he struck down! Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here! Good from hear me! Soma is... She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the endless feast, and she is the better for it. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes. There's nothing more to say.
Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. And now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours, but it came at a great cost. Soma Jalskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand, she will live on in our memories from now to the end of days. And to your warrior, husband, and a friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I here repay it. And to Humboldt, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead, our fallen warriors, and speed them to their end. Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I've made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwald's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger. <laughs> Jeez. 
죽여! 아인데 에이버 에이버 스완브로 아이 노 갓 노 don't say it please 에이버 don't say it i am sorry oh my hope no my poor swan He fought bravely and turned the tide to secure victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are poor salve for a wounded heart. I will leave you to mourn, and know that we are here for you, always, should you need us. something for you. A message. Quite strange. Hampton Shire has fallen, and with it the Kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great. Maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then. You have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. Something for me. What is it? 
A letter requesting your presence in the southwest, a village called Athelni. Nothing strange about a summons for me, is there? It is not the recipient I find strange. It is the sender. The letter is signed, a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Ah, our mysterious partner. For a short time, I hoped it might be Bassem feeding us the names of these targets. He seemed the most likely man, for a time. Only one way to discover the truth. Thank you, Hytham. I will take care of this. Right there? Yes, hello. I, I do not mean to intrude, but I am looking for someone. And who would that be then? I... I do not know exactly. Well, that would be why you ain't found him. But you're free to pass the time just here if you like. Thank you.
Those are soul cakes, love. Do you know soul cakes? I do. I enjoy them. They're small things, size of a lumpy fist, so they'll bake fast. Keep your eyes sharp. And the butter, do I baste them? No need, love. We leave the butter for meal time. I look forward to it. Right then. I'll leave you to this. If you need me, I'll be doing the washing up next door. Quite a step down from your former work, Lord. As their guest, I volunteer to help with the daily chores. They offer me a bed. I tend the cakes. Do they not feel strange giving orders to their king? Or do they know? That knowledge would benefit no one. I read your message. You went through a great deal of trouble to obscure yourself as this poor soldier of Christ. As I remember, you even sent yourself one of these letters in Winchester. A clever touch. The Order wanted me dead. I had to be careful. You said you knew nothing about the Order then. Pled ignorance. But you knew everything. Their names. Their schemes. Would you join me for a walk? You look well, Eivor. I am. The wars have ended, and my settlement thrives. The wars have not ended. You have simply stopped fighting. But men are brewing plots in mead halls and bedrooms. You will see. And how are you, Alfred? Getting used to the idea of being unremarkable? I am well. Better than I expected. In this exile, I have found a somewhat nourishing peace. Each morning, I am awakened by the sun and growling cormorants. I bathe in the chilly water of the marsh. I eat from shrubs and drink from buckets. It is a good life. Simple. Blessed. I've never been so far west. I find it quite peaceful here. Calming. I have traveled a long way to hear one name, Alfred. Who is the Order's Grand Magister? Tell your shadowy friends that England is swept clean. Your work is done. You? Grand Magister was not a title I desired. It passed to me on the death of my brother. From my father before him. Defilers of God's majesty and grandeur. I was their master. And I loathed them. With Goodwin, I set a plan in motion to destroy the order from within. But my troubles with the Danes delayed that plan. But your trouble with this Dane is what led to their demise. You are Norse, are you not? You have a good ear. I owe you my thanks, Abel. For that, I give you this. The key to my study. That you may better understand the good you have done. With the order all but destroyed, you have made room for a greater idea. One to take its place. A universal, divine order. Inspired by God for the betterment of man. With a poor fellow soldier at its head. You have saved England. Whether or not that was your intent. Now let England save you. England is no more, Lord. You are the last of her kings. And yet you have no kingdom. Look around you. God's works are wondrous. They cannot be ignored. Nor resisted. In time, all those who accept God will flourish. And all those who defy him will fall away. Should you remain in England, you too will one day be her subject. Oh, bloody crumbs! The cakes are burnt! Where is that man? Young man, where have you gone? Damn. That may have earned me a night of washing linens. I do not know if we shall meet again, Eivor. God willing, we will. As one lord to another, perhaps. I'm coming, my lady. I'm here.
Alfred gave me a key to unlock his study somewhere.